Blessing is in a backpack as an organization. Uh, in America alone, there's over 16 million children who are um, food insecure. And so a lot of times these children are on their free or reduced meal plans within their school. But then the question comes, what do they do over the weekend for food? That's 65 hours that they're not really knowing where that next meal is going to come from. So that's where Blessings and Backpack comes in. Um, right now in America, we have over 4,000 awesome volunteers that are helping pack these bags for these children. Uh, we're serving over 9,000 children uh, within America and over 100 plus schools. So it's definitely great. We're growing uh, here in Florida alone. We're uh, serving over 9,600 uh, children here in over 58 schools. Praise God. Like she said, we send home 130 bags of food every week, but I couldn't do it without Mary and Sarah, which is the other ladies on the PTA with me. We have little Avery, who is our youngest volunteer, who bags and delivers food every week at the age of three. We feed 130 a week, so that tells you, you know, we're a Title I school, which means all of our kids are either at or below poverty level. So this is an amazing organization that helps them to the point where the kids come to us, they call us the food ladies. So we have some that come in the morning looking for cereal to start the day, and some that come at the end of the day looking for snacks to take home. So I cannot thank you all. So what we're doing today is we had a large donation last night from the Molex Corporation. They did a team build in the Colorado and San They packed a thousand bags of food and loaded it into a truck. And today we unloaded the truck here at Bard Moore Elementary. Um, it's in our sheriff's department and the mayor of Seminole Dan Waters. Um, and they also donated a ten thousand dollar check to help us meet up with our children at Bard Moore Elementary for the next year. So we're very excited. <laughs> very excited. We've been doing the program. This will be our uh, fourth year with Blessings in a Backpack. We started four years ago and we've been at Bar for two years. And we have a little over 100 children at Bar for two years. And they have been fantastic in helping us to run the program. We're feeding children. We provide extra food in their backpacks. We got to the bus in the backpack and our distributors, and we put together a thousand meals for these kids. So it was really rewarding. We had about 50 people yesterday putting together these meals. A lot of fun, a lot of energy. And it just made people feel really good about what we were doing, and I really wanted to get back to the community. This is actually our third time doing it. We did it once in San Jose, once in Chicago, and now here in Clearwater. We're actually a global company. Molex is an international company with facilities around the world. We make little internet connects. So you have a cell phone, and you park your cell phone, a little connector you to park your cell phone, we make that. And then all the people here, these are all the employees that volunteer. <laughs> yes, these are all people that handle and work with our distributors on a day-to-day -day basis. There's actually about another 25 people back at the hotel going through training today. So we brought a few of us here to unload and, and celebrate with this school. How does it make you guys feel to present the check in? We are very excited uh, to see the emotional response from the people here at the school and to really see the excitement from the distributors. It was a very touching moment last night when we put these together for the check.